Good morning. It is um, Wednesday, the 15th of August. Today is the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary when, uh, when God took her up into heaven, body and soul, <laughs> body and soul, <laughs> um, at the end of her life, her earthly life. Um, and that's the hope that we all have, uh, is to be taken up into heaven, body and soul, right? Um, so, yes, happy solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary to you all. Uh, Mama Mary, please pray for us. And today is also my number one son's birthday. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how old he is <laughs> because that would age me. <laughs> but I am proud of the man that he is. Um, gosh, he's such a gift. Such a gift, this man of mine. Um, yeah, and I'm going to get to talk to him soon. So I'm excited about that. I haven't talked to him in a while. So um, that's going to be really cool. I did bake a cake for him. Um, his favorite is German chocolate, but I did not have any on hand. So I made a, um, a pineapple uh, dump cake that my mom used to make all the time when I was growing up. And I loved it. And I was like, you know what? I'm having cake today for my son's birthday. And uh, I'm going to do a dump cake. So there we go. <laughs> it is fresh out of the oven and cooling, and so um, I'm hopefully going to get to eat some uh, today before work. And you know what? I can tell my... Oh, it is hot and it is humid right now, <clears throat> mostly because I washed my hair this morning and I am... I am humid. <laughs> oh my goodness me. So my glasses are fogging up. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Let's, let's clean this up. All right, that's good for now. <laughs> Do you like my glasses cloth? Ah, it's a notebook paper and it says, I will not wipe my glass with my t-shirt <laughs> again and again and again, because I am notorious for that. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's from Nerd Wax. If you guys want to check them out, they're on Instagram is where I found them. But um, yeah, they have a website too, Nerd Wax. Um, they, they have eyeglass wipes, glass wipes for all your electronics and stuff, um, in all kinds of different designs, you know, um, you can even wipe your glasses with the pizza, <laughs> pizza. Um, yeah, I got a waffle one as well, but my grandson claimed that for his, <laughs> for his own. So I'm sticking with my, with my notebook paper. Anyway, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday to my son. <laughs> God bless him. Um, and I really, I really hope that uh, you guys will send up a prayer for him. Please do. That would be um, an amazing gift. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to show you today? I don't remember what I showed you last time, to be honest. So if I double up, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, okay, well, let's see. I have, I have these. To, I think I might have shown you. Mm -hmm. Like when I was going to start them, maybe the fabrics that I had, right? So these are the cup cozies. Okay. So they're all sewn and ready to assemble. These are, these are some more of them. I just have to add the snaps on. Okay. So those came out fun. I like those. Um, I'll be making a bunch more and that's going to go again with my, um, with my grandson's hot chocolate mix, so we can sell those together. Uh, and I have these, I think, I'm pretty sure I already showed you this, right? So that, um, that pouch with the French seams inside. Um, yeah. And then this one, oh, see, <laughs> there you go, same fabric. Okay, anyway, and then I'm pretty sure I showed you this one where I was just practicing the little tabs, little zipper tabs from Christine's Home Affairs. Um, so there's that. My daughter really likes this one as just a little change pouch and stuff. Um, so yeah, there's that one. And uh, I went ahead and made, I don't know if I showed you this one, this one, um, just a little, just a little vinyl pouch real quick. Um, no lining, just put it together real quick. And that's what the the little number three zipper. Um, yeah, so there's that one. 
And then I have three more. I don't know if I showed you this one. This one was just um, on a whim. I had some other fabric that I wanted to try. It's um, it's upholstery fabric, which has a really nice feel to it. I really like it. And, uh, and I'm using the number five zipper on this one. And there's that. There we go. Yeah, just super plain. Okay. And then I did, what did I do? Oh, this one. There's another um, another upholstery fabric and with the zipper. Yeah, and I think, yes, I did do the French seams inside. I really like the French seams, especially if it's not going to be lined. Um, you know, I, I like a finished finish <laughs> on it. So there's that and it's it's got the zipper flat in the middle. So, you know, it opens like this and then you can lay it down and put your stuff in it. Um, so there's that one. And then there's this one. Similar upholstery fabric to this, right? Different color. But guess what I did? <laughs> I was not paying attention and I had the material backwards. So this is what the outside looks like. <laughs> oh me. And then this is what it ultimately looks like using the inside of the fabric as the outside, which, you know, I mean, I'm not mad. It does look okay still. So yeah. So there's my zipper pouch brigade, the most recent three, and then, um, and then the other three that were older. And yeah, so I'm going to have fun making these. Uh, I think I'm going to do this one. Um, maybe I'll add a grommet on the back, um, like a future ones and make it as a, like a doggy, what are they called? Doggy, doggy pouch, doggy, to hold your doggy bags, you know, when you go for a walk, but I would still need to add like a little tab here with a key ring or something so that you can, you know, hook it onto your leash, but then have the grommet on the back, um, and do it that way. So you can pull your doggy bags through. Um, so I'm going to try doing that. Not on this one because this one doesn't have the tab. <laughs> so yeah, but that's a fun little pouch. Okay. <clears throat> and then I do have, um, these new templates that I made out of Dollar Tree, um, Dollar Tree placemats, right? Uh, not placemats, chopping boards chopping boards there and um and this was just extra uh chopping board that I had happened to have so I need to buy more but I did also have some cardstock so I went and, and traced my templates off uh, onto cardstock and these da, 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 da. I'm sure you can tell there we go um by the shape of them there we go especially this one um these are crowns they're crowns by the Aloha Sewing Company on Etsy. And um, this, you can get the patterns like separate, like if you want just this pattern or just this pattern, you know, as um, PDF downloads. Uh, but of course, I, I like variety. <laughs> so I just bought the whole bundle um, from her Etsy shop. And, uh, and I made a couple of crowns for two of my grandkids. So let me turn you around. Okay, there's the emptiness. <laughs> okay, so here's the first one. Ta-da! Look at that. How fun is that crown? And it's got ties. See? Oop. So, that will fit her now. She is, um, she's just two and a half. So that'll fit her little head. <laughs> right now, that close. How cute. And then as she grows, she can just tie it more loosely and it'll fit her as she grows. So that's really cool. Love this fabric too. And then for my number four grandson, I made this one. He's having a birthday um, this month, later this month, next week, in fact. And um, so I thought, oh, let's do a birthday crown. So. Here's his crown. Ta-da! 
and it's got dinosaur right smack in the middle. There you go. See? Mm-hmm. Sorry about the beheaded dino over there, but and if he wants, he can wear it the other way and have this as the front instead. You know, if he wants more the the herbivores to be featured, or if he wants the big bad carnivore. Um, yeah, so, and this one also has the ribbon tie. So that'll fit him, and then he can wear it even as he gets older. So, so yeah. So yeah, these crowns, they're so cute. I love them. There we go. So I think I'll be making some of these for the Christmas boutique that I'm preparing for. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, they're great for, for kids and adults, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to find some fun fabric here in my stash and, um, and maybe buy some, maybe gold, <laughs> gold or silver fabric. We'll see. Um, and then some matching ribbon. And uh, sorry, my hair is like everywhere today. It's driving me nuts. I need a haircut. Ah! Okay, anyway vanity be gone all right <laughs> so um that's everything i think oh no 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 i had one more check this out look at that see that that is a pair of cordless scissors and you just take the, the cover off and here's the thing and you would some, okay let's pretend this is fabric and you just put the fabric in here and then you push the button Okay, it's going to be loud. See that? And then you just push it right through the fabric. It's like a knife through melted butter. <laughs> so the butter's not even just warm butter, soft butter. It's like, it's liquid. <laughs> Zoom right through. Oh my goodness. My arthritic hands, and you can see there, we've had, we've had a couple of stormy days here. Um, and uh, then yesterday was sunny. Um, so... I've had a little bit of a reprieve. I've been in recovery, and then today still my hands are still kind of, kind of bad. Look at that. Ah. But anyway, this is great for cutting my fabric. <coughs> yeah. So anyway, I got this on Amazon. It's called Pink Power. Yeah, cordless scissors. This is a godsend. Thanks be to God. Um, and that is all I have for you today. <laughs> um, so I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go finish getting ready for work. I'm going to uh, greet my son again. <laughs> Happy birthday. I did uh, greet him. I think I was the first one <laughs> to do it uh, like at two o'clock in the morning this morning. Um, and, uh, and then uh, I'm going to have some dump cake in his honor, pineapple dump cake, and, um, and then head off to work. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.